Welcome to another episode of On the Road with the Freeman Diaries podcast with myself, Sarah, one part of the Freeman trio, the other one being my husband, and of course the third one, if you're new to this channel, is our white, fluffy, lopped-eared, blue-eyed bunny marshmallow. He's currently got his collar on so that he knows that it's daytime because at nighttime when he's going to go to bed, we take it off and then he knows that it is bedtime. He sometimes tries to take it off and put it on himself, but he just can't because he's a bunny and not a human. So today's video, when I was thinking about what I was going to speak about, was actually like a common question that I get asked when people find out that I'm like a Christian, I believe in Jesus, and that I was healed of juvenile arthritis, and um, that I'm waiting for God to restore my eyesight fully. A question I get asked a lot is, how do you know the difference between the good voices and the bad voices in your head? Okay, and so I have had many a conversations about this because, you know, we hear voices in our heads, right? There's good and bad. Like if you just imagine like the Simpsons episode where there's like Satan and then, and God's angel on the other shoulder and they're like arguing over each other and then there's like Homer's head, uh, which is his own thoughts. Um, and so that's kind of what it's like, you know, like you hear the good voices and you hear the bad voices and you hear your own voice inside of your head. So people will often say, oh yeah, sometimes I hear a voice, right? And it tells me to do something and then I go ahead and do it and it ends up being wrong and bad and leads me down a really, really bad path. Whereas other people can say, but then sometimes I hear a really good voice, like to go and say hello to that person and they'll go and say hello to that person and it just like completely changes that person's life. Uh, or they might uh, feel like, oh, there's a voice in their head tells them to apply for a certain job, but then they don't actually end up applying for the job, and then their current job ends up being super crappy, and they totally should have listened to the voice in their head to get that job. So how do you discern the difference? Well, what the, the thing I use and the, the thing I tell other people, which I know there's so much stuff out there, like so many different ways that you can discern the voices in your head. First of all, good job at like being able to hear voices in your head and recognizing that there are voices in your head because that's a pretty mature thing to come across. Okay, so what I say, I hear a voice in my head and it tells me something or tells me to do something, right? So it might tell me that I'm not beautiful or that I don't look that good today or that was just marshmallow jumping off the couch or I don't look that good today uh, or it might tell me that I'm like worthless or useless and that I shouldn't be doing something because I'm not as good at doing it or something like that. Or it might be telling me to do something like, oh, don't go for a walk down there because there's snakes or it might be telling me... Um, you know, go over there and, and do that or go to the shops now because it's going to be raining later. Like, you know, so there's, there's different voices. And then there's like my own voice in my head that like tells me things as well. So what I say whenever I hear a voice in my head that I'm not too sure about is I capture that right in my head. And then I say, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. Because so many times written in the Bible. You cast stuff out. Use the name of Jesus, right? The name of Jesus breaks like everything off, okay? Everything, every addiction, every bad thing, everything that's holding you down, it breaks it off, right? You speak the name of Jesus. So you say, Jesus, you know, like go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. You send it to Jesus' feet for Jesus to deal with, right? Okay, so so a thought will come in and I'll be like, no, nah, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. So the thought will leave. The thought might come back again. If the thought comes back, it does the same thing. Go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. It'll leave. It might come back. If it comes back, I go like, okay, God, what do you want me to do about this? You know, like, is this from you, God? Is this a good voice or is this a bad voice? If I really, really, really don't know or can't discern at that very point in time, I will say it again. Go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. And if it comes back, then I'll really take it seriously and I'll really think about it. Now, I'm not saying do it three times, you know. People say, oh, just do it three times or two times or one time. No, 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 no. You keep going at it until it feels right, okay? It takes time. It really takes time. If you sit down and want to do like a Jesus meditation or something and you want all the thoughts to come out of your head, like the one thing that they say, like have a piece of paper next to you to write it down or, or the Holy Spirit will remind you later. So you just say, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. If thoughts come into your head, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. Go to the feet of Jesus, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. Until you feel that your head is just completely filled with Jesus and with good things, 
rather than the evil things. So I'll recap. A thought comes into your head, okay, and you say, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. That thought goes. And then it might come back. So then you say it again, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. That thought will go. If it comes back again, go to the feet of Jesus for judgment. And do it as many times as you need to until you are 100% sure that that thought is a good thought. Then that it's something that you want to do and, and something that God wants you to do. And I'm not going to say you have to do it once or twice. Like, you've got to keep doing it. It's just like a thing. But what happens is if you do it enough, the enemy knows that as soon as something comes into your head that you're not sure about, you are going to say, go to the feet of Jesus with judgment. And that thought then knows the demon behind that then has to go. Like, it has to go because you've used the name of Jesus. So it goes. And therefore, it has no power. So when a demon leaves and goes to the feet of Jesus for judgment, you know, it's going to a really bad punishment because it really just wants to stay in you, but it'll leave and then it has to go somewhere else. And it might be a worse place than staying in you. So you're pretty much now casting it out and getting rid of that thought. So the more you do that, Satan will know that you're going to do that all the time. So then it's less likely that you're going to have lots of negative thoughts, you know, but then there's so many people that come across my path, right? And you've seen it in our videos that want to kill themselves, that want suicide, that hear these voices in their heads, right? And I'll tell them this and they'll be like, it's life changing. And I'm like, yeah, just cast it out. Just cast it out. You don't need that stuff in your head. Just get rid of it. And it'll help you to be able to make really good informed decisions that God wants you to make. And sometimes you might not like those decisions at all. Sometimes you might not like that and you might keep casting it out of your head, but it still keeps coming back. And you might not like it, but it just means you've got to do it, okay? So there you go. How to discern the voice between good and evil and like your own voice in your head. That seems to work for me. You know, but let me know what works for you. Uh, yeah, that's just from my experiences and the experiences of the people that I've met. So let, let me pray. Hey, Jesus, I want to thank you for the person that's listening and watching this video right now and this podcast. I pray the blood of Jesus over them. I pray that all those negative thoughts will leave them right now in Jesus' name and go to the feet of Jesus for judgment, Jesus, that they you know, just, just have only you inside of their head, God, just you inside of their head every single day that you are guiding them and you are leading them. And if they don't know you right now, God, if they don't know your full power, God, that allow your power to flow in them so that they can fully understand how much you love them and take those things out of, out of their head right now. In Jesus' name, to the feet of Jesus for judgment. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There we go. I'll see you for another episode of On the Road with the Freemans. God bless.